Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do the cinematic glow effect for text. It's an effect that I've literally used on a lot of my short form pieces of content, as you can see on screen right now. Super popular, a lot of people actually add this glow to their text as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in today's tutorial. First things first, if you're not subscribed, I'm gonna shake sauce all over you. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Wait, hold on. But seriously, I want to let you guys know that I run the Takeover Shop, where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started inside of Premiere Pro right now. All right, you guys, so we're actually going to be revisiting this edit right here. So that's sick. So I want to go ahead and just add the glow to this text right here. So real quick, I'm just going to show you guys what the effect's going to look like when we're completed using my takeover preset pack, which by the way, down in the description, if you guys want to go ahead and cop. So we're just going to drag and drop glowing text, add to duplicate. And that's sort of the glow, super subtle effect, but you guys can see it right here. So that's before that's after we're going to show you guys how to create that effect today. So first things first, what you'd want to go ahead and do is you want to duplicate your text layer. And the way you do that is you hold down option or start on mac and i'm assuming it's alt for pc but i'm not entirely too sure so once you have your layer duplicated you want to go over here to the effects tab and you want to type in gaussian blur or just type in blur and then find the gaussian blur which that's what i do and then you go down here gaussian blur and you add it so first things first, when you have the effect added, you want to uncheck this box right here, and then you want to increase the Gaussian blur. And as you can see, the smaller it is, the more intense sort of the glow seems. And then this is like sort of like the more cinematic it is. Um, so I just kind of want it to be about like that size. And then what you want to do from here, when you get the size that you like, you want to go down to the opacity and just turn it down to make it super, super subtle, kind of adding to like that cinematic glow look. And then after that, let's go ahead and watch it. then you're done. And this same exact concept can be applied to other things like icons. So I'm going to show you guys with my preset pack, how easy it is to actually do yourself. So you just duplicate it, go back to the takeover preset pack, find it, select it, glow in text, add a duplicate, and we are done. The glow's already there. So this was a very simple effect, and I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial. Keep your things super subtle, super clean to maintain a level of professionalism inside of your edits. If you guys have any more tutorial suggestions or anything you guys want to see on this channel, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section. But that's it for now. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.